world what is happening is people are more connected to their digital tools than connected they are connected to their internal internal technology Empower Women series has allowed me to talk to many accomplished women and every time I talk to a woman I learn so much from them and one of such women is Chitra Lele Chitra Lele before she turned 30 she has already written 40 books she holds a limca book of world record in addition to some 70 different certifications and awards she runs her own business of software consulting firm she's also studying and at the same time she is the coolest online influencer for uh, you know give inspiring people to ha- how to get best out of their career their lives how, how to be a mindful person and all these things just seeing her online profile and persona they impressed me a lot but what impressed the most about her was her responsiveness her she you can imagine a person like this she is so busy and any time i asked her any question emailed her about anything sent her message on linkedin about anything i got a reply within minutes and i just don't know how she does it so that is going to be our topic of discussion today we are going to ask her and we are going to find from her how she does it are you ready to listen to this let's do it like i said my first question to you and i've been most curious about is i have seen that you have achieved a lot and you are always working on these fabulous projects you are so active online and yet and yet at the same time i always receive replies from you within you know if not in within few minutes in few hours because we are on different time zones so how do you manage your time so well how do you get that's a very interesting question and this question is often asked to me by several people from various walks of life i'll share the philosophy behind how my profession and passion are blend together in a seamless manner and this seamless cohesion is related to that time management aspect so at any given point in time i'm either a software consultant churning out new ideas for my books or the next research paper and the next moment i'm an author who's trying to validate her new theories and approaches in the practical settings of the corporate world be it my own field of information technology or any other domain so at, at any moment in time i'm wearing both the hats both the roles are active i'm not doing any role reversal or role switching so there itself a lot of time is saved because my brains which are kept active uh, due to my software engineering profession and my inner spark which is kept active due to my passion of writing academic books they are both operating in sync so there itself my time is saved because i'm not switching roles and there are another two critical uh, you know aspects which help me to manage my time one is observation of people situations and circumstances and one is interaction with people situations and circumstances because these factors uh, always help me to you know remain in the objective observ- observation mode so any time even if i'm working in the company or i am working outside or i'm at home i'm always looking out for knowledge gaps in these workflow things which are present in these two elements observation interaction and the moment i receive some ideas or inputs or insights I immediately jot them down in my trusty tablet so you know when i go home i don't have to recall these ideas and inputs i don't have to waste time in recalling they are already there on my trusty tablet all i have to do is i have to work on fleshing them out adding flesh bones body to them the skeleton is already ready in, on my tablet so that saves me a lot of time observation interaction fusion of my profession and passion the objective observation mode all these aspects save me a lot of time and energy and one more important thing for me is that i am not on any other social media web- website or platform i am there only on linkedin which is a professional network networking hub and this is a big time saver and energy saver for me and one more important thing is i do not watch the idiot box you won't believe it in uk the apartment where i'm uh, staying with my friends my colleagues we don't have a tv unit we don't have a television set in our apartment so this is a huge time saver and energy saver which helps me to you know invest create in creative activities constructive activities and in responding to kind hearted people like yourself in a timely manner so i i'm not you know my attention is not diverted by things rather my attention is triggered by those things to 
find out the knowledge gaps and then work on those knowledge gaps and my trusty tablet is always there with me you know even even in project meetings when the client is around i still have the trusty tablet like i tell the client please hold on please hold on let me just jot down something so when i go home i don't have to recall or waste time recalling wow you you gave so many great ideas when i was when i was growing up in i started my career as an architect and uh, i don't practice architecture anymore i have so many things at the same time and at that time i was advised that focus on one thing you can't be so many things at once and uh, so it took me a really long time to be comfortable with you know the architect project manager fund manager strategist consultant side of me oh. how did you get to it so soon like you're so young how did you get to it so soon yeah actually there are lots of techniques or tips which are related to you know mindful uh, practices or mindful awareness uh, it has been my uh, practice right from uh, around 8 8 to 9 years ago that every morning before i step out into my corporate role i set aside 15 minutes of me time i'm not talking about hardcore meditation here i just concentrate on my breathing breath is the you know is the focal point of life is the inner locus of control so just concentrate on your breathing and there's there's a, there's a point you know even if it's just a split second that you achieve that silence between thoughts between thoughts there's there's a small window which gives you that silence between thoughts and that silence is formless and it's golden and it's truthful and that's where your inner voice starts surfacing starts giving you sublime signals it takes a little time you know in a few months you are able to achieve that kind of silence for a minute or two and when you get those sublime signals and you start following them then your inner what you know your inner guidance or your intuitive system comes alive because all your ideas um, all all those subtle voices sublime signals are embedded in your subconscious so normally what happens is 24 by 7 our conscious mind is working you know the negative chatter is working you need to suppress that negative chatter the only way to suppress it is to look within what i mean by saying when i say look within is not close your eyes and look within literally but focus on your breath even you can keep your eyes open i i can do that now i've reached that level that i can do this mindful meditation even with my, my eyes open after 8 years of long you know practice but it has to be done every day 15 minutes 15 minutes is enough you don't have to sit for like 24 hours in a in a samadhi position it's not required it could be your corp- before or stepping out in a corporate role your personal life or social settings do this every day there's one more very important technique that i follow regularly it's called mind mapping this helps me to blend both my roles uh, my, my outer self which is a limited role of a software engineer and my inner dynamic self of a writer and a peace ambassador i can blend them seamlessly because of this one very important technique it's called mind mapping in mind mapping what you do is even if you're not a visually oriented person there's some people who are more into writing or you know more into hearing some are more visually oriented that's all right what you can do is you can take a large sheet of paper in the central uh, point you place your main goal that you want to tackle in the next few months you can draw a small picture you know maybe you want to set up a restaurant or something you draw a small picture and then divide those uh, that central theme into sub thoughts these sub thoughts are nothing but your sub goals and with each sub goal you have a strong emotional attachment which you know surfaces while you're drawing those you know small small sub sub modules and then you link it up to the central theme you can add key notes you can add some um, keywords you can add some deadlines and this gives you a bigger picture perspective you know when you have a visual chart in front of you and it also helps you to pinpoint areas that need you know upgradation of your skills or areas that need emotional release In, in terms of that goal because there are lots of fears in the background that are working against the goal you need to overcome those fears once you remove those fears you can definitely reach closer to your goal and of course you also need to have some kind some, some kind of a tracking mechanism against which you can measure your goal performance on a weekly basis or a uh, fortnightly basis depends upon the goal size you know <laughs> the goal definition so that's what i do regularly for um, both my roles i do it on a weekly basis you said so many things and yet they were so clear concise and on point instead of watching tv create something on your own instead of looking at uh, the negative uh, distractions coming from outside develop a practice of looking within which we talked about mindfulness 
you said visualize your goals and visualize where you want to be doesn't matter when you where you are able to visualize in the future for 15 days or a month or a year and when we have so many distractions around us so many things trying to define for us what is the right thing to do i guess there is the best way to find answers sometimes is or at least 15 minutes a day is look within right you said that you have lots of techniques that one can use if you had to add one more technique to okay. this toolkit let's call it a toolkit so what is a perfect word yeah there's one more technique called as emotional tapping okay the earlier one was mapping this is tapping this is you know like a you know a subtle form of acupuncture okay so daily before stepping out into your rush hour madness what you can do is after those 15 minutes let your emotions surface to the uh, to the sub, to the from the subconscious to conscious mind maybe that you are feeling a little nervous maybe you have a meeting or something so your body it's, uh, itself will tell you where you are feeling nervous maybe nervousness is reflected somewhere over here in your brains or maybe in your neck there is some tension so what you can do is you can use your fingers and just tap if there's nobody around you can directly tap if there's somebody around then you can do proxy tapping with your mind's eye that you're using your fingers and you're tapping your neck neck region but you're trying to release the tension there you're telling you're telling the tension okay i acknowledge you but i'm not let, let, letting you get the best of me i'm going to overcome it this is one very 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 effective technique it will take some time you know few weeks to understand the dynamics because in today's 24 by 7 uh, digital tech driven world what is happening is people are more connected to their digital tools than connected they are connected to their internal internal technology you know the inner spark so this will take time they might think oh nothing is happening what 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 has chitra told me it's so it's so so baseless it is not baseless it will take a few months two or three months to analyze your own body because your body definitely gives you subtle signals and subtle hints which we tend to ignore because we are connected to the smartphone to our laptops so that is one thing which is hampering people's uh, progress at the deeper most level but such techniques will help them to reconnect with their in, in internet in inner inner internet exactly because we are very we are very well versed with the outer technology but we need to also be well versed with our inner technology which is our inner spark see purnima we are not just this physical vessel we are much more than this we are i mean it takes time for people to understand that we are spiritual beings in fact trapped in this physical vessel and we need to step beyond this limited role of a physical body we are much more beyond these five senses we do we do have six a sixth sense you know sometimes when we call a friend I mean, we know there's something wrong with our friend because there's a deep connection. You know, this happens with your family members as well. That's intuition. That's energy. People in today's times have forgotten these energy, energy dyna dynamics. Like my grandparents, my parents are aware of them, but you know, my people of my office they think I'm somewhat a nutcase because they think because they are into their 20, uh, nine to five, nine to eight job. That's all. They don't think of anything beyond that. I try to. course them but it will take some time because they are of my age 27 28 so <laughs> it will take some time i i am completely with you and i did not know about emotional tapping and i know you know having uh, uh having used uh, mindfulness and mind mapping to certain extent i am aware of my body and i know where the location of my fear is i feel it in my stomach okay this is this is such a refreshing conversation because uh, it's when mostly i talk to people about careers and you know career related questions and uh, uh uh no one went this deep as of now thank and you so much actually it's all credit goes to you because you are asking <laughs> the right questions so.